We now understand that both the DS and the AC are transposons. AC can transpose independently because it contains all the features needed for mobility. One gene required for mobility or transposition encodes a transposase enzyme. We'll learn more about what this enzyme does shortly. For now, it's enough to note that the DS gene lacks the gene for transposase and therefore has no enzymatic capacity to transpose unless the AC transposase gene has been transcribed and the enzyme has been synthesized. The DS element then is a dependent transposon requiring the activity of the AC element. Credit our understanding of the AC-DS interaction to the development of recombinant DNA and DNA sequencing technologies. We also know now that AC and DS are structurally and in fact evolutionarily related. They are similar. DS is a truncated version of AC having lost its transposase somewhere along the line. But DS in fact retains other features required for transposition. DS and AC transposition share features with other transposons, so let's look at those briefly. Both of them have 11 base pair inverted repeats at either end of the element, and after transposition they leave an 8 base pair sequence in the same orientation, i.e. direct repeats, of insertion site DNA flanking the elements that have just inserted themselves. Look for these features as we discuss transposons in prokaryotes and eukaryotes.